The Veteran in a New Field, A Portrait of America in Transition Winslow Homer is one of the most celebrated American artists of the 19th century, known for his realistic and expressive depictions of everyday life, nature, and the human condition. His painting, The Veteran in a New Field, completed in 1865 and currently on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 762, is a powerful and poignant representation of the aftermath of the Civil War and the challenges and opportunities that face the nation. The painting shows a man, identified as a veteran by his discarded Union Army jacket and canteen, harvesting wheat with a scythe in a vast field under a clear blue sky. The scene is simple yet striking, conveying a sense of calm and tranquility, but also of labor and perseverance. The man is fully absorbed in his work, seemingly oblivious to the world around him. He has returned to his civilian life, leaving behind the horrors of war and embracing the peaceful pursuits of agriculture. The title of the painting, The Veteran in a New Field, suggests a contrast between the old and the new, the past and the present, the war and the peace. The new field is not only a literal one, but also a metaphorical one, representing the new social and political landscape that emerged after the war. The veteran has to adapt to the changes and challenges that come with the end of slavery, the reconstruction of the South, and the reunification of the nation. He has to find his place and purpose in a society that is undergoing a radical transformation. The painting also contains a subtle yet profound symbolism that reflects the complex and conflicting emotions that the war evoked. The bountiful harvest of wheat signifies the abundance and prosperity that the North enjoyed, as well as the hope and optimism for the future. The wheat also symbolizes the bread of life, the nourishment and sustenance that the nation needs to heal and grow. However, the wheat also has a darker meaning, as it recalls the biblical parable of the wheat and the tares, where the enemy sows weeds among the good crop, and the farmer has to wait until the harvest to separate them. The wheat, then, represents the good and the evil, the loyal and the traitorous, the living and the dead, that coexisted during the war. The scythe, too, has a dual meaning. On one hand, it is a tool of work, a symbol of productivity and industry. It shows the veteran's dedication and diligence, his contribution to the national economy and welfare. On the other hand, it is a weapon of death, a symbol of violence and destruction. It evokes the Grim Reaper, the personification of mortality and fate. It reminds the viewer of the bloodshed and carnage that the war caused, the lives that were lost and the wounds that were inflicted. It also hints at the fragility and uncertainty of life, the possibility of death lurking behind every corner. The painting, then, is a portrait of America in transition, a nation that is recovering from a devastating war and facing a new era. It is a portrait of a veteran, a man who has witnessed and endured the worst of humanity, and who has returned to his normal life, but who carries with him the memories and scars of his experience. It is a portrait of a field, a place that is both a source of life and a reminder of death, a place that is both old and new, a place that is both familiar and foreign. It is a portrait of a paradox, a painting that is both simple and complex, realistic and symbolic, optimistic and pessimistic, peaceful and violent. It is a portrait of a masterpiece, a painting that is both timeless and timely, universal and personal, beautiful and haunting. It is a portrait of Winslow Homer, a painter who was both an artist and a witness, a creator and a critic, a visionary and a historian.